everyone welcome back to spring web flux essentials so i just got the news that the spring released 231 exactly today so let's update our our project and while the the project is being updated let's do a quick refactoring so here at our anime controller it we have three types of web test client. So what if you don't want to have to create like three web test clients? Well, that is another option that's using at with user details. So let's say that you just want to have one client and then we're going to auto wire here, web test client, and you're going to call this a client. So I want, for example, here, this will be the client it means that we are not authenticated and when we run uh, this method i don't know if it finished downloading all the dependencies it's still downloading the dependencies i don't know what will happen well actually it worked so uh we have here this one not really useful because we are not sending the user but what happens if we send this and we would like to also uh, make sure that we are authenticated but not as admin well with this annotation here at uh, with user details we can do a couple of things we could send here and you can see that we have the user details service be name set that before and these values so this is what we are looking for because so far we had to do the basic authentication here inside of the web desk client to two sending the username and password but with this one, we just need to send the username. So, for example, uh, let's say that we would like to use David because David does not have the role admin. So, we will execute this method now. And you can see that it worked so we can do that for all of them and we can get rid of that util class so i would just uh quick create two attributes here private uh static final string admin user admin user will be uh william and regular user will be David so what I'm going to do I'm coming here and I will update everything so we have this one and we have this one as well but this one should be admin so admin user this one also admin user and we change here and here to client and here regular user client regular user as well client here we have admin user and i think we are going to use admin user all the way down so we just change here so client same thing here client same thing here client client with user details well you know where this is going cool now let's test the the whole class let's see if it works i will get rid of these guys and i will get rid of these guys as well and i will get rid of this web test client to till so let's see if it works. Uh, let's execute the whole class. Okay, so everything is working. We can get rid of this web desk client O2 and we have a cleaner code. So we have another option, but honestly that didn't work for me and I'm not sure why. That would be using at with uh, mock user. So this one didn't work at all for me. 
and for example I could try to set the, the rule here admin so this one should return forbidden um, I will set the rule actually it works uh, because the default one is user so let me show you so if you come here you will see that the default role is user if I run like this oops get rid of this one as well So you will see that this method will work. But if I change this uh, role to user from user to admin, I would expect this method to fail because now I have the role admin. and it passed so it looks like uh, it is not picking up the the walls i couldn't figure out the reason until i decided to record this video so i'm not going to use this with mock user but i'm going to use with user details so make sure that you have database running because if you send uh, a user that does not exist it will fail you it will give you no pointer because internally it will try to fetch the user from the database and it will try to create a principal the principal will not exist and then it will try to get the password and password for null is no point of exception okay so that's all guys uh, i hope you enjoyed see you